few years, there's been a lot of talk about a potential Punky Booster reboot, and we finally have it. What can fans expect? Now, fans can expect the same heart that Punky has always had. They can expect us to tackle those tough conversations or those conversations that you didn't even realize that you needed to have with your kids. But it's definitely going to be a conversation starter. And it's going to be fun. It's going to feel like home. We're going to make you laugh. We're going to hug you. We're going to make you cry maybe a little bit. But we're going to make you feel good before we let you go. And what has Cherry been up to since we've last seen her? Cherry is a social worker. Of course, her best friend has inspired her to turn her passion, which is children, into something that feels good and is a part of her daily life. Cherry also gets to introduce you to her girlfriend, who is played by a wonderful actress, Miss Jessica Nicole, and she plays Lauren, and Lauren is a strong attorney, so I definitely dated up, and it's a beautiful Black love power couple. You've said on your podcast that you never imagined being an actor and that you fell in love with this industry working on this show. What has it meant to you to be able to jump back into this character's shoes in a series that changed your life? Oh, playing Cherry is so incredible. First of all, like how many people can say you had this job 30 years ago? And then you get to go back to the job that you loved so much. Like it's a blessing that I never even realized that I wanted, but it's like lightning in a bottle. You know, I fell in love with this industry through playing the character Cherry and then going on to Family Matters, it was fun. And then Family Matters ended and you realize this is a job and now I need another one. So (laughs) you have to find your passions. And I recreated my passion through producing, you know, Mm -hmm. but you kind of lose it after a while and it becomes mundane. But then to get a phone call that you get to go back and do what made you fall in love with the very thing that you've spent your whole life doing, I'm trying not to cry. It's everything. It's amazing. And, you know, with any reboot, you're going to have, you know, the diehard fans that grew up watching it. And then you're also going to get to introduce it to a new audience. How does this show balance catering to both? Oh, I think this show is going to be amazing and generational because so many of our original friends, I like to call you guys, grew up watching us with your grandparents who might have been your babysitters, you know, and the grandparents can still watch along with the kids who are now what I say the kids because I think I'm a kid, but now I'm watching the show through my daughter's eyes, who's six years Mm. old. So it's being introduced to a whole different generation. And just the fact that Soleil and I get to watch it with our children, like that's a bigger bond that we get to connect with you guys, the viewers. Um, It's gonna be generational. I think that a lot of families will have four generations in the same room watching the show. How amazing is that? When you first joined the cast of the original series, you were just getting started in your career and you've built this illustrious career throughout the years. Did you share any words of wisdom with your younger cast? The only things that I've really told them, words of wisdom, I think they give them to me every day. (laughs) (laughs) These babies are so talented and they're so smart. But the only thing that I did say to each of them is, please do me a favor and only do this as long as you love it. Do it as long as it's fun. And when it's not fun anymore, find something else that is. Because being in the entertainment business, we're not curing cancer. We're not, you know, it's, it's not rocket science, but you should be able to have a good time. And I really want it to be fun for them because Soleil and I had such an amazing experience on this show that I want these kids to leave one day, like 10, 10 15 years from now, because hopefully we'll be doing the show that long, but they'll be able to look back and be like, wow, I thought everything was going to be like punky, like Soleil and I did. And like you were saying earlier, the show's going to tackle a lot of really relevant themes and topics. Was there one in particular that hit home for you? Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't know what I can give away. I will say that there's a lot of things that hit home with the children. You know, being a mom now, I have to have those conversations too. And some of the conversations I just might not have known how to tackle, but the co-parenting can be hard, especially with COVID going on. We didn't been in a house together too long. And so (laughs) to watch the relationship with Punky and Travis, I'm constantly reminded that we have to lead with love, you know, and co-parenting, even if your parenting styles are different, that you have to come together, compromise, find a happy medium and make your family work. 